Hey everybody, Mike here with another GIS tutorial. Today's video is part two in a short series about how you can use Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro to streamline workflows. So picking up where we left off, we've successfully made a model to iterate through polygon features and clip road features to those polygons. But one thing that I would like to improve upon in the model is the name of the output file after the model runs. Now to remind us where, where we left off, I'll expand this outputs folder. And you'll see that most of the names in this folder have a period and a space in them. And uh, that's generally not good for file names. And we have a way in Model Builder to adjust that output so it doesn't have periods and spaces. Now, to do that, we want to make an adjustment to this get field value and name English part of the model. Um, we will further adjust the output here um, that the name English bubble feeds to the clip geoprocessing tool. Now to do that, we're going to use another utility. This time we'll use the calculate value utility. So I'll double click the calculate value. And if you've used field calculator before, this will look really familiar. Um, what I'm going to do is write an expression and a code block to remove the first four characters of the name from the name English column. So I'll go ahead and call this index underscore string and I can double click this name English variable and then I'm going to write a short definition in this code block. So we will write a definition for that index string and we'll feed it an argument called name. Then we'll write a return statement for this name English. Whoops. Just go ahead and write it manually under here. See if I can drag and drop that. No, manually it is. <laughs> we'll write a return statement for that name English variable, but we will index the fifth character. So this bracket syntax right here what we're telling it to do is index starting at the fourth character in that string. And apologies, I don't need the zero. We um, want it to index starting at the fourth index of that string and include the rest. Um, so I'll go ahead and click OK. Then I'll connect this previous name English to that as an expression. Then I will connect this value to to the clip function as a precondition. And we will remove this previous precondition. And then we'll update the name of this new green output variable to be name English new. And then Lastly, we'll double click the clip function and update our inline variable substitution to use the new name English new variable with the updated string. So I'll hit OK. I'll validate this model, save, and run. Okay, so we hit an error. 
Um, let's see, and I think I know what went wrong. Um, let me go ahead and validate to reset this. And then I'm going to double click calculate value. And, um, yeah, this expression looks a little different than um, what <laughs> we wrote a few minutes ago. So we'll do some debugging here. I believe I used the wrong uh, connector here. So let me go ahead and delete this connection. And uh, I'll rewrite the expression that we had here previously. And hit OK. I think that's, yeah. Then um, I'm going to connect this name English again. But rather than using an expression, using it as an expression, we'll use it as a precondition. And um, if I double click the calculate values, uh, we'll see that nothing has changed here. Um, so sometimes that happens when you're working on a project. Um, I believe everything else is good to go. We have our inline variable substitution updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and validate again. Save the model and run it. So this is also going to take a few minutes, um, but I'll pause the video and then um, cut to when it's finished and we can compare our results from the last video to this video. Okay, so our updated model ran successfully. So let's check out the results. I don't think I mentioned it in the previous video, but um, this window here will actually show you what's going on as it's happening. It'll um, show what it's executing, in this instance, the clip function. And then it'll also show you what it's trying to output. And we'll see here that this is trying to output this name right here without the period in the space. And um, it'll show it's analyzing features, dissolving, clipping, and then it'll show that it succeeded. Uh, in total, this one took us about six minutes as well. So let me close this, then um, open my outputs folder and refresh it. So now you see a bunch of road shape files with uh, cleaner file names. And uh, the data is going to be exactly the same. It's just a little more readable. Um, so that concludes this video. I'm going to make a part three um, showing how to button up this model into something that a um, non-technical user could use. Um, we're going to assign parameters to some of the variables in this model and then name our model and run the model just like you'd run a geoprocessing tool uh, instead of using the model builder user interface. So um, hope you learned something. I had fun um, recording the video and um, I'll see you around. Thanks. Bye.